Hey everyone, Solarpunk Steve here, and today we got a really fun project. I came all the way to Tampa to give a hand to my friend Adrian with his company, Landscapians. And we're gonna try and do what took me weeks to do in a single day, and that's install five of these solar panels on his lawn care trailer. Probably won't get too much more of that sun by the time I get everything wired up. It's 1 a.m. in the morning. I cannot believe it. So Adrian, tell me a little bit about your company and why I'm here. Yeah, landscaping started a year ago. It was born from essentially being ditched by a landscaper. And so forced us to kind of leave our corporate jobs, my wife Gabby and I. We've been mowing in our neighborhood and it's been awesome and amazing, but we need solar. We need the power of the sun. We're in sunny Tampa Bay, Florida. Makes no sense that my guys have to stop here, charge. We hope we can knock it out in a day. We're really excited to see Solar Punk Steve knock this out of the park for us. I love it. Right up front. We're gonna put our EG4 inverter. I'm gonna bring solar panel power through the roof here, tie it into the inverter, and then the battery will be below. Then we'll take the, the actual AC power output, bring it up over the door here, and install two outlets over here. Back it in, plug it in, charge up your batteries just like I do in my trailer. We're gonna put five panels mm -hmm. up on the, the roof of your trailer here. Yeah. Hopefully everything will go smoothly today. Our boy Andres, he's been collecting all the inventory. We've had a group chat, Mission Solar. So we're here to make it happen. Hopefully we get through it and stick with us for the ride. And they had most of the main components, but none of the electrical, the wiring, none of that. We went to Lowe's, grabbed everything I thought we needed. So hopefully I haven't forgot anything. I'll show you what I have here. Inverter on some of the cement board as a backer. I just quickly screwed it on, threw the battery cables in just so I could kind of uh, see how they would come down. Threw up the switch for the solar panels. Even got the little fuse in on one of the connectors so that I don't have to make a separate thing. The solar panel power I'll probably bring down from up here over to the switch, down through the switch into the inverter, the PVN in here. AC out for all their tools will come through here. I'll bring it maybe to the breaker here. Uh, just some quick like furniture pads I screwed into the floor just to give the battery a little bit of elevation off the top. A little uh, neoprene foam pad here just to kind of vibration isolate it just a little bit. But things are coming along. It's uh, okay, uh... Here's the progress so far. Got my 38 breaker installed, wiring output from the inverter bringing it up over. I'll put the other breaker box here so that I can easily run an outlet right down there and then probably bring one over and down there. Getting a little dark, but making progress. I think uh, solar on the roof, we're gonna have to wait until tomorrow. <laughs> These things just take time, but we are gonna get it done this weekend. Fingers crossed. All right, back to work. Sunday morning. Uh, just gonna try and get everything wrapped up today. I did as much as I could last night, but honestly, most of the day yesterday was just running around trying to get all the supplies needed. And I think we have everything. There's a couple little challenges, uh, mounting the solar panels on the roof. So I don't know the full story, but I think somebody that claimed they could do some of this stuff tried to install some solar panels and they just screwed literally through the thin sheet metal. <laughs> To secure the panels. So I don't think that person's working here anymore. I'm just here to try and lend a hand, get this install uh, wrapped up for them so that they can get back out there mowing lawns with solar power. So I'm just looking at different ways of being able to, you know, put something like this up here. I'm just testing out some different options. This is quite a bit better and once bolted on would be a lot more secure if I have, you know, a length that goes good amount or two pieces or something that I can get up in there. So a bit of a challenge, I would have done it differently with mine. Um, I put rails on the roof and bolted through these actual beams, but for this build, it's a little different. And since I'm short on time, I'm just gonna see what we can come up with. And um, as long as it's, you know, nice and secure, we'll be fine. I'm thinking, honestly, something kind of like this. And I know it looks a bit funky. I want to maximize the amount of space they have to hang any tools or anything and keep it up out of the way. 
There's so many different options here. I could have come out the bottom, I could have come out the top, I could have gone straight across, I could have come down, have another punch out and come straight over. I'm just trying to move quickly <laughs> this weekend. And I don't know, I kind of like this shape. It makes it a little uh, Y or something, because why not? <laughs> This one will be to that outlet in the back, and this one will be to this outlet down below. Looks a bit of a mess, but you got your 30 amp, three wire, 10 gauge cable coming through. And the hot, the black here, I took and put in the middle of this Wago jumper, and then each jumper down to each of these terminals here. And before you freak out, these Wagos are indeed rated for 450 volts, 41 amps if you're using 10 gauge wire. So really nice little Wagos, love these things. They go into the breakers, and each breaker has one hot coming out, going up and over to my outlet on the back of the trailer. And then this one here goes down to my outlet on the bottom, ground wire in there to the ground terminal. Each outlet has its own ground, and then all the neutrals tie into this bus bar here. Bottom outlet here, back outlet here, and then the, the main three wire cable coming in. And these pop out, see what that looks like. Just single hot right there. And that's, that's about it. These will be less wiggly once the cover's on. I am making an absolute mess here. Daylight is rapidly fading. I'll show you what I have here so far. This is my inverter wiring setup. Solar panel is ready to go. I'll drill a hole in the roof, mount up that cable entry gland thing there. I've got my shore power in coming in. Ground, line or hot and neutral. Then you can see the AC out here. Uh, the ground comes around and goes in here. I've got it grounded to the frame of the trailer there. AC out, line, neutral, PV in, positive and negative. And then the battery terminals actually come in, connect up there. Wrapped them up in some uh, just wire corrugation to protect them a little bit more. Brought the data cable, shorten them up using my, using my nice new fancy Temco crimping tool. They came out nice. Battery is secure. It's the best I could do on short notice. I like the, the green actually. It kind of looks like Ego stuff. So one thing I'm still working on is shore power in. So I'm gonna route it around and I'll drill a hole in this uh, side of the trailer so that they can plug in the trailer and charge it up overnight. Everything here is routed. I just put the Ego mower charger up here. Still got a little bit of cable management to do. Over here, same sort of thing, just mounted this for them and get a couple battery chargers set up on the wall and they can load all the Ego equipment back in. But solar panels, we were just putting the brackets on them. These here as well. We got five total to go up on the roof. Let's climb up there now to see. So, soon to be solar all the way up to somewhere right around here. All right, I gotta go grab Adrian to give me a hand getting these solar panels up on the roof without breaking anything. Put these bad boys up? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, wires are the way. So is it the wrong way? Yeah, I handed it to you. No worries, brother. I got you. Thank you. Good. All right, we got two solar panels up here. So we're gonna wire in series. So one of these will connect to a cable that'll run all the way up to the front. And then the other one that is not connected to that cable will connect to this solar panel. And then this solar panel to that solar panel. Then that solar panel on and on until the end. Then both cables will come down through and go straight into the inverter. So everything will be wired in series. Oh man, we are making good progress. Probably won't get too much more of that sun uh, by the time I get everything wired up. But we've got your 1000 watts up here of solar. We're using Rich Solar for your setup, which is the same exact panels that I used for mine. 
200 watt, uh, 24 volt rich solar panels. I've got your connections ready to go, so I'm just about done. I gotta drill a couple more holes and then I'll seal everything up as I go with the wiring. You're set, you've got a solar powered trailer by the end of tonight. Hell yeah. So with these, I think we'll be somewhere around 200 volts nice. total of uh, DC solar power going into the inverter. And the inverter should be good with that. It needs a minimum of 150. And so we should have plenty there to get it started to start charging the battery. Nice. So I'm gonna drill these last holes and, and hopefully finish before the sun goes down. Awesome, thanks Steve. Yeah, man. So I'm gonna put this little guy in so that they can plug in the trailer and charge up the battery. All right, Steve just called this the home stretch. This is the last piece of just insulation that needs to take place inside the trailer. So after this, it's gonna be just connecting a lot of wires. It's getting dark, but brought the extension cord over and it's plugged in to the trailer, which if we hop up in here, we can see it's actually charging up. So, battery's at 59%. Just working by light. Everything just kind of mocked up. All the panels wired in series. Doing the last connection here just by my headlamp. Uh, but this is for the negative cable going into the cable gland there. And I did the positive all the way down there at the end to the other panel kind of see it just sticking out a little bit on the side there hard to tell but almost there all right crimped on slide this in grab this grab that connect it to this and that solar wiring done i'll of course tuck everything and either tape it down or cable tie it underneath the panels just to make sure it doesn't move around I love it. This has been an unbelievable two days here with Solar Punk Steve. This man has just slaved over the meticulousness. The attention to detail is unbelievable. We've just finished the tutorial. It's 1 a.m. in the morning. I cannot believe it. We've got the five hour battery. I understand how everything works. I understand what needs to go where, how we need to set up the settings, what things should be for the different days that our crews do the different things and how we kind of work, when we can hook it up to the house. So I feel very confident in the insulation. I feel secure. We're not gonna have any water issues. The panels are not gonna fly off. Our guys, we're gonna build a little bench here. It's Steve's recommendation that'll give this some protection. We could put a little sticker up. So I couldn't be happier. This is everything I dreamed of. I feel like back to the future, Marty McFly. <laughs> But thank you, Steve, for coming and just killing this for us. We love it. Did not get it done in one day. Yeah. But we had a good time. Absolutely. You know. Cervezas. Yeah, had a few. Views. Stayed up late. Yeah. <laughs> Got up early this morning to, to keep going. Um, so it is Sunday night. It is almost 1 a.m. Yeah. Uh, but we're done. I got a two and a half hour drive home. And I got to work tomorrow. You got to work tomorrow. I know. We're both busy, it's but no this joke. has been a lot of fun. It was like speed running my solar setup. We did pretty good. We're almost at 95% hooked up to the house, so we know the mower's gonna have all the juice we need for our guys tomorrow. We're literally going straight to work with this thing, so we'll update it and we'll let you know if we have any questions, Steve. Thank you so much, hey, man. man. Appreciate it's you. It's been a pleasure. Hell yeah.